What's up guys, Zeb here for Asaka.com and in this video we are going to take a quick look at iOS 11.3 Beta 1. iOS 11.3 brings so many new features to iOS 11 that it can be classified as a major iOS release. Among other things, it brings 4 new emojis to iPhone 10, health records feature, business chat feature for messages, messages in iCloud and new ARKit features that will allow developers to make more powerful ARKit applications. Let's take a look at the emojis first. We get four new emojis in this release. Number one is loin emoji, the dragon emoji, the skull emoji, and the bear emoji. In total, now we have 16 emojis on the iPhone 10 iOS 11.3 finally brings the messages on iCloud feature back. Apple announced this feature at WWDC last year, but it didn't make its way to the final iOS 11 release. Now that it's back, you will be able to free up space on your iPhone by keeping photos and other attachments in the cloud. You will be able to see all your messages as soon as you sign into a new iPhone, iPad or Mac without losing any conversations. Apple is adding new battery features in battery section of the settings app. Starting iOS 11.3, you will see health information about your device's battery and if it needs servicing or not. You will also be able to tell if battery power management feature is activated on your device which means you will know if your iPhone is being slowed down to give better battery performance and to prevent unexpected shutdowns. Perhaps more importantly, you will be able to turn off the power management feature if you like. We are unable to show you the power management features in this video since Apple has not added them in the battery section yet. We expect that this feature will be added to iOS 11.3 in the later beta releases and will make its way to the final public release. iOS 11.3 brings business chat feature to the messages app which will allow businesses to communicate with their customers through the messages app. Users will be able to make purchases from their favorite businesses through Apple Pay, schedule an appointment or talk to a service representative. Health records feature has also been introduced that will allow participating medical institutions to share data with patients and make it possible for them to receive notifications about lab results, medication, conditions and more. So this was our quick look at iOS 7.3 developer beta 1. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And we'll be posting more follow-up videos for iOS 7.3 in the coming days. If you want to watch them, then hit that subscribe button too. Thanks for watching.